So this video typically teaches you how to import a watch owner wallet into a multi-coin wallet where you can send and receive you know cryptos you know a watch on a wallet you can only receive crypto but you cannot send you can't make any transaction on a watch on a wallet it's a simple tutorial on how you can import it into a multiple wallet so one thing you want to do right now is to smash the like button and subscribe to this channel right now okay some of these videos I make, I actually make some spending. I spend money to actually make videos to you guys. So if you feel like you want to support my channel, okay, and you like my videos, and um, feel free to use the smart chain address below, and you can support my channel, donate, or you know, you can sponsor one or two videos. Okay, so smart chain Ethereum, any network you want to send your crypto on, is the address. All right. So now, why would you want to import a watch on a wallet? Okay. Watch on a wallet only allow you to see the crypto in it, but you can't send. You can't send those crypto out of it. So let's you want to make a transaction with those crypto. You want to transact those crypto. You want to send them out of this wallet. Now this is how you can actually import this watch on a wallet. First of all, I'm going to go into my trust wallet right here. Enter my passcode. All right, as you can see, this is a watch on a wallet. This wallet contains more coins than you could see right here but because it's a watch on a wallet on a smart chain uh, network so that's why you are seeing on a smart chain cryptocurrency that are on this particular wallet you can see this is a watch on a wallet if i tap on it you take me to watch to trust wallet community all right so if you tap on any crypto it will tell you this is watch on a wallet it tells you the transaction details you see you can only see the receive button active and it gives you a notification that this is a watch on a wallet okay but send button is inactive all right if you are using an outdated version of trust wallet you could still tap on this send button but it would pop up watch on a wallet but in this new version of trust wallet is totally inactive all right so now first thing that you're going to do is to click on to recover this watch on a wallet is to click on settings when you click on settings um you click on uh, the wallet and then click on this plus button at this section right here where i just indicated click on that button right there click on i already have a wallet then you tap on multi coin wallet all right now so what you need to do is to grab the recovery phrase to that watch on a wallet which is if you are the person that created the watch on a wallet that have the wallet it means that you have the recovery phrase so you grab the recovery phrase from where you wrote it down or from where you saved it and put it in the recovery phrase section or if you have the private key to the wallet if you are the one that owns the wallet you put it in the private key section okay so for me i'm gonna just fix in my recovery phrase and then once I fix my recovery phrase, I'm just going to be able to recover my watch on a wallet. It will load up this way, like that, like that, like that. And then you see it like this. So because it's imported as a multi-coin wallet, you can see that even cryptos on ERC20 that is on the wallet pops up. All right. So uh, if anybody tells you, okay, you can grab random wallet address from the blockchain and then they'll provide the recovery phrase for you to that wallet then it's a very big scam it's a lie nobody can do that as at the moment i'm making this video you can only recover wallet that you have the recovery phrase too so if you have any challenges as such like this you're unable to import your wallet you're unable to import your wallet into a watch on a wallet please do well to send me an instagram message or you send me a, an email and then i'll respond as quick as possible so as you can see right here just like it was in the other watch on the wallet this one now i can send there is a sending and there's a receiving button it's not telling you watch on a wallet and everything is just going all right so in the next video i'll show you how to create a watch on a wallet for a cryptocurrency of different network like this particular one is erc how to create a watch on a wallet for erc how to create a watch on a wallet for avalanche tokens and other bep20 token all right so be sure that you're actually subscribed to my channel like 
this video and see you in my next video so you want to hit that subscription button right now subscribe and see you in my next video all right